Yo, yo, Rangulius here. You are watching Wrench Feels Like Playing Manor Lords. We are back at it again. Um, we just kind of started our own new uh, town, I guess. Um, still trying to learn the mechanics of the game. Um, got about two hours in on our last playthrough, and uh, we just hit summertime. Um... So I'm hoping to keep building up our our storage and our granary here. We haven't really filled these out just yet. Need to build those so we stop losing out on some of our uh, materials and stuff here. Um, we have our forager's hut and our hunting camp that's still getting built as well. I built a camp over here, but I kind of think it's too far away. Like the animals are over here. I thought originally they were up here. I don't know if they move. I still have to kind of figure out if they move or not. Because originally I thought they were up here. So that's why I built that over there. But then all of a sudden they're over here. So maybe I was just seeing things. I don't know. So I ended up wanting to move the hunter shack over here and then I'll try and delete that later but they still have stuff over there so I didn't want to delete it so we got one family working at the lumber yard we have a lot of timber now which is nice the forgers finally made a marking place here I do have a family I thought I assigned a family to build our woodcutters log because we we're running out of fuel we really need fuel. It's only summertime, so it's I'm not worried about food. I really need fuel though. I don't necessarily know how to like make a family work specifically on because I thought I got this family to do it yeah firewood cutter so they're just waiting I'd like it if they actually started building So water access. The well hasn't even been built yet. I built a... I started a well. So it hasn't been built either. Damn. So construction takes quite a while. Obviously I can fast forward time. I, I don't really... Like fast forwarding time through these kind of games. I kind of like it just playing out. Even though it kind of seems like it's probably beneficial to fast forward at this point. Really only have a couple houses built and everything else is kind of still waiting. Really need this to get going. Let's go high priority. We are pretty much out of firewood. Not enough supplies. So these are built? No, they're being built still. So is this family... 
They're just waiting. If I just... They won't work on construction if they're waiting, if like I, I assign them to that. And I can't just like unassign them easily here. For some reason it's like not letting me unassign them. So if I reassign them, reassign family. Granary worker. kind of want to make them not like anything maybe i'll have to just like reassign them to something that i can i actually can change them on that's so that's kind of annoying um so i have to reassign them to the logging camp and then unassign them that that worked so now i have construction family okay I have two construction families. That's high priority. I still have homelessness? How do I have homelessness? Do I have families moving in that I didn't realize? Living space, five. Five level one families. I have 15 people. I have five living spaces. How many families this region can currently accommodate? Five. To increase it, build or expand upon your burgeoning slots. Like I, yeah, I'll build more, but I really need these spots to get to get going here. I don't know what the holdup is. Is there a holdup? On construction. Constructing. Guiding ox. Constructing. Almost want to leave a family unassigned. How long does it take to build? Well, he looks like he's on his way. And we have 50 wealth. Public order is fine. We have hunter gatherers and woodcutters. Would really like some firewood cutters. So now I'm starting to wonder if building stuff super far away is not is kind of seems like it's fairly detrimental. You kind of want to make sure everything's kind of close. I was just kind of thinking of leaving room for for expansion, but like having them walk super far distances is kind of kind of shitty. Once they build, man, like I, I need everything built right now. This is rough. There we go. Okay.
these plots, they're all the same. There's a little bit of difference between them all. Awesome. Now, like this house here. Construction finished. Nice. So we are going... Okay, so we have a family. Woodcutter's Lodge. And that didn't... They're the same. They're the same. So a family assigned to logging is also assigned to woodcutting. Going home, felling tree, felling tree. I'm gonna actually just leave it. Okay, so one family takes care of like wood cutting. You obviously you can assign more families to that. So I'm hoping that having this close to there was smart. I don't know if that was smart or not. Have you marked the choice for the rafters already? They are deforesting fairly quickly here. Like that was 34 timber. I wouldn't be floating away today. I to which I think floor. might actually be a fair amount of timber. So you can you, can you like specialize them? East branching tree, debranching tree, permanent livestock assign, unlimited work area, livestock, people, show home, wife, husband, son, general. So this is the logging camp. If I click on the woodcutter's lodge. Generic storage, nothing stored inside, people. Salmon, Catherine, and Peter. These are the same people. In the rain or snow, the still How do I get them to... Construction finished, the well's finished, nice. How do I get them to work on the woodcutting here? Maybe that's not... I'm kind of just waiting for maybe for them to reassign to here if that's the thing that they might do, please. Gathering. Waiting, waiting, gathering. Transporting. Is that just over here? New message. Resources added to the inventory. 20 storehouse. Armament delivery. A strong militia is a paramount is paramount to the survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived, and you will now be able to create your first militia banners to serve you and protect your people. However, we will need more weapons to equip all the people as the settlement grows, either by making them or importing them from other lands. Let's form the militia. Pantry is full, forger hut. Well, I need people to work on the granary and then that hopefully that'll solve this issue. Excess food needs to be moved to a granary. Yeah, that's okay. I got you. Exposed goods. Pantry is full. Enough supplies. Okay, I really need to... I was kind of really hoping people would start to work on this. Transporting, waiting, constructing. I'm just going to assign another family to this. Family owns a market stall. Yeah, I'm just going to assign another family to this for now until we re... Like, we just need... We need that done. Got what we needed with a well, a storehouse, weapons, spears, large shields. 
and then advanced construction planks crops flax barley crafting material sweet this is still getting built there's people working on it so that's good resting until healed what happened to him Uh, army. Plus one new units. Form militia. That looks like fear. Am I wrong? I don't know what that is. So we have militia footmen, militia spear, whole arm militia, and archer. So we will go. I guess we'll go spear. You created your first militia unit. Male villagers will be evenly distributed between all militia units. They will then try to find the required equipment. The weapon and shield depends on the unit type, while the maximum quality of body armor and helmet depends on the villager's residential level. Okay, after bringing all the necessary equipment home, the unit recruits are marked as ready to rally. Only then will you be able to rally your unit. So, okay. Don't know what this is. Ten of thirty six. Which I have ten males. So we'll just go with that for now, I guess. And then we'll do archers after. Is that all I need to do? Fruit's missing. So they just need to go here, collect their shit, bring it to their house, and they're fine, it seems. And then now they're ready. Like, that's how you recruit. Okay, so we have people working here, finally. Kind of want to make sure I pay attention to this. Sick. So that's what happened. Woodcutter. Is this the same family? Am I crazy? Heinz, Gerthaws, and Ditz. Heinz. Oh. So it wasn't. Now I'm confused. Are they cutting random wood? he's going that's what was going on it's Heinz and Heinz that's what all I was looking at was Heinz nearby bandits what what where did that come from how What the fuck? Where, when did that happen? Why did I not see this? What the hell? Uh, is there more information on that? Like, what the hell just happened? Resources stolen by nearby bandits 12. What do you 
mean nearby bandits? They're not even close to me. So these people fucking came over and stole my shit? And I didn't even see it? It just happened? Like, I don't get a chance to defend myself? That's lame. Or not, like, I, I just would have thought I would have saw, like, an army come through or something like that, or... So it's just automatically? That's crazy. Water access. So everyone here has spears and shields. Okay, we have a food stall. Or is that two stalls right there? No, that's just one, right? Firewood stall. And food stall. I thought I had two here. Food stall. Firewood stall. So they're like super packed tight. Man, I, I spread I think I spread my stuff out too much. I think I might have spread my stuff out a little too much. Okay, I'm gonna unassign. See, I already are only I already have an unassigned family here. So where where am I lacking here? Okay, so probably hunting is if I had to guess. I have this. What about my other hunting? Where is it? I haven't built it yet. People are transported. Goods. This is still under construction. Everything's still under construction here. I think everyone's just stocking up militia stuff. Which I guess is fine. But we really, really need to work on... Uh, getting more firewood here. Like I am out. Come on, guys. I'm just going to leave both families assigned until... Uh, until I feel like I'm comfortable, and then I'll reassign them. We have crafting, transporting, peddling. I think these people are transporting their militia goods. Might want to make a road connecting this. Definitely feel like I spread this out way too much. So definitely need to make a church eventually here. We got fuel stall supply. Why did food stall supply all of a sudden turn off? Maybe it was because that was my hunter-gatherer stall. I really need this to get built here, but I need a lot of things built. It's coming along. We are still in June, probably getting close to August. Harvesting, plowing, and sowing. We have 10 months of food, but food consumption is doubled in winter, which... Now that I think about this, is this work? Does it just go from... June to August. There's no July. 
It's just two months. Or does it go to July? Because we started in March. I don't think I saw in April. So every season's two months, it seems. If it's only two months. That's four supply. We need minimum before winter happens. We need at least four months worth of stuff. So obviously you'd kind of want six months for the beginning of spring as well so i want at least six months worth of supply before winter hits like i said before i really wish there was a timer here I have no idea when the season's gonna change what do we got here so we have a bunch of berries some meat that we still have i wonder if it goes bad or if it just keeps it stays in storage there Three firewood, so finally, finally getting firewood going. Transporting. So are they transporting all the way back? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. All the way back to here. That's pretty, pretty brutal. Okay, we're going to go and assign family to this we are gonna I don't know if we're able to delete this like I want to delete it but I don't want to get rid of our stuff here So I assign a family to hunting. We have hunting and, and, and foraging. A family and a family. We have a bunch of timber now. I have one family dedicated to woodcutting, one to timber, and one to kind of like everything else. So I'm assuming that the family that's assigned to everything else moves, moves supplies and stuff as well, I'm hoping, is kind of the hope that I'm having right now. Firewood. Forager. Unassigned, going home, going home, waiting. Kind of wish they were transporting. Like, how do I? Transport. Do I? I guess it wouldn't necessarily make sense if stone decayed. But I have a feeling it would. Okay, 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 okay. How does this work still? Because, like, I got attacked by bandits, but, like, didn't get attacked. I got, like, just raided, and that just happened automatically. Iron deposits, stone deposits. We are kind of, like, on a hill here. Nice little creek behind us. If I built a church... I definitely need to condense my thoughts down here. I was going... I think I was thinking way too wide. Might just make it... We're kind of getting on a weird hill here. Gonna come up the road, you hit your houses, hit storage and that.
I'd almost make the church like right here. Still, I don't know if that's too far away. They're gonna build a road that connects this because I don't like the fact that they're walking all the way, all the way. I'd rather them just go oh, right here and then maybe we'll build a road across here and then put a church right there if that works. We will go boom. We'll cut it a little shorter. So, and uh, come across. Maybe even straight there. Maybe a little curve. Boom. So this is kind of like. I don't think it really matters if you're building a flat area or not, but... Okay. I think everything's built. I just kind of was hoping that the unassigned family... ...would maybe move stuff. Nope, that's fine. Um, so we'll go construction. So that's gathering. What else can I gather? So woodcutter's saw pit for planks. Forester's hut. Planting trees. Charcoal kiln for making charcoal. Hunting, forging, and then beekeeping. So I can go mine if I need to mine. Logistics. Granary built, storehouse built, pack station, bartering connection allowing you to send and receive goods between this and another region in your command. I don't need that yet, I guess. Itching post provides one stable space, assigning families to become permanent ox guides, which speeds up logistics. Does that mean I get another ox if I build this, or it's just another post and I have to, like, buy an ox? Or, uh, whatever. I don't know. Residential. Built a marketplace. Tavern. Church. I need planks. And stone. Corpse pit. Tavern just needs timber. We will just build a tavern then, and then we'll build a church after. Well, the marketplace is, like, right here. Build a nice tavern right between the housing and the marketplace. Yep, right there. So, building does destroy trees right away. Okay. So, if I did want to build, like, right here, even though, now that I think about it, I didn't realize, I wasn't thinking about the hill that we were on. I might not want to build directly on a hill. And I'm... I was thinking way too large of a scale, I think. So at least we have this little bit of a flat line here. We can build out here for more, I think more residential out just right here. We'll put a church up here and then I don't know if we need room. It doesn't look like we actually need room for much else. Let's see this, firewood cart, food cart. Well, What's this? Farming? Like, I guess if you had farms, you would need a lot of room. Industry? Okay, so there is a decent amount of... Im I thought this was oh, houses, though. So if I just click play furnace, it's its own thing. Okay. Okay. So I do need a little bit of room. Okay. I'll probably make this, like, industry. You got a tavern, your marketplace... Make more residential over here. Put our church up there. Maybe I might rethink where I put church. I have stuff here, taverns there. No, no. Church at the top of the hill. Kind of what I was thinking. I'm going to keep it there. Or whatever, near the top of the hill.
might fill this in with more... Maybe not. I don't know. I'm just weird. Like, why is the stone still here? Who moves this? Do I have to assign someone to that? What's this? Exposed goods. Yeah. So do I have to assign someone to this in order for them to move them? Unassigned families need construction work. Oh. Forgot about the tavern already. My bad. I'm probably gonna have to have someone run the tavern too, so... I need another residential house here in hopes that... more people move in. So let's go. We have it just takes two timber, so we're gonna go three more slots. Maybe a little bit more room. Kinda likes to snap here. That's fine. Right there is fine. Build those. Is this I I love that road. The road traveling mechanics where the roads get wider. It's so cool. That is so cool. They are using this road, which is good. Woodcutters, we got eight fuel. We're getting there now, so we have two months worth of fuel. Perfect. So, really don't know how to move those. Unless I, I'm assuming you probably need people in here to move supply That is my assumption. I would have hoped my unassigned families would move. Like I seriously have to That's kind of lame. Workers collect, store, and distribute goods using general storage. If needed, they will also automatically set up stalls. Don't be shy, good certain lady. Huh. Does seem like I need to... Wow. A full family has to just be dedicated to... the storehouse. What about the granary? Workers collect, store, and distribute goods using the pantry. Did they not- do they automatically move? Material? From here to there? I would think they do. As soon as this is full, they kind of move material. Am I wrong? I would hope that they do. That would really suck if I need more families just to freaking move material to storage. Still building the tavern. I wonder how long it takes before families start to move in. Transporting firewood. Probably do this. Fresh meat. Get your fresh meat here. No finer cuts in all the land. 
Oh man. I only sell the finest wares in all the land. I Ah no. I'm thinking of the future. We'll leave the marketplace there. Get your tavern there. Is there any kind of other amenities? Maybe hitching post? Or pack station? Set up barter and connection, allowing you to send and receive goods. Maybe I'll... Mm, I would kind of think I would just put that over with the storage stuff. Marketplace. A permanent market stall which provides passive income. Maybe I'll put the armor. I don't know. I kind of want to put an industry here. I wonder if I'm like... Doesn't look like there's any kind of like defenses that you need to build or anything like walls or anything. I could be wrong on that. Cause I was thinking like maybe I need to be able to defend, but that the mechanics might not be that in depth. Like I wonder if there is advantages and disadvantages to hills and forest cover and probably not. Trade, trading post, maybe a trading post in the market area. Okay. And then administration, settlers camp. Place it on the empty claimed territory in order to sell it. Grants base starting supplies and five starting things. Manor. Residents of you and your retoon. Ret Retian. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that says. Uh, grants 250 influence and rises the administration level by one. What is that? Is that just stone? It's probably stone. So, timber, planks, and stone. Cosmetic? Shrine? East shrubbery. Oh, east shrubbery. Like, yeah, like cultivate shrubbery there. Probably all of that. I'm confused. At least two types of food in this marketplace. Food stall supply. Types of food sold on the marketplace stalls. Firewood or charcoal. So why do these families have and that one only has one that one doesn't have any we all have good water access no one has church but like some have fuel wall stall supply fuel stall supply no fuel stall supply why What does that mean? Hey. 
Can't click on the question mark. Market supply. Economy. Market supply. Market supply. 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 Market supply. Market supply. Marketplace. Space for assigned families to step the stalls and distribute their produce. Healthy supply and demand ratio of good is needed to fill resident requirements. Keep approval high. How? What would make these guys? It's just not enough storage in here yet. Maybe that's the problem. Because I have four, but I have like a bunch. I got like 50 something, but only four at the pantry at the stall. And the same here, I have five here, even though I have 17 technically. Nothing's in the storage yet. I have two things in the pantry here. I'm assuming because this was full. They have a market stall. Unassigned families need construction. Yeah, so I'll leave that open. I really need, I guess, more residents. So, after they're done building the, uh, Tavern. They'll jump on the uh, house plots, I guess. It's taken uh, quite a bit of time to build the tavern here. I know I can fast forward. I just don't like to try to keep it like running at the regular pace. I don't know why. I kind of just like to see it come together slowly, I guess. Hunter transporting meat to the stall. I'm assuming. Pedaling? Or is he, is he setting up a new stall? No, he's putting it in that. Awesome. So does this food stall, yeah, meat and berries. Okay. Cool. And this is still getting built. About three fourths of the way. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Did they just stop building the tavern and start working on this? I think that's probably what just happened there. That's fine. I don't have any families to freaking supply this anyways. So I, I can handle that. What's this? Exposed goods. That's really frustrating. Are you 
You wouldn't think that stone would really be affected by weather. Unless it's like over frickin' 50 years, like... So there's not really much of like a day and night here. Which is nice, I guess. Nobody has anything in their pantry. Something tells me that's not good. Extensions add extra production functionality to the residential building. Allows growing vegetables, requires growing and harvesting labor, yields depending on the plot size. I don't really have big plot size here. I don't know how big you actually need the plot size. We're in July. So there is three months. Okay, so it's it's okay. So there's there's multiple months. So that's what you have to think about. So December, January, February. So it's three months. So that's six supplies. So I just need fuel. I need a lot more fuel. Which is crazy because I have 23 firewood, and that's only. Four months of supply. That's crazy. Kind of cool if, like, a family that was waiting because their shit's full, you know, if they started transporting stuff or if they started work in construction or hmm. how are we doing on food 49 41 out of 40 animals so we're fine on animals so residential spaces are going to be what takes up the most space i guess unless i was farming Speed this up a little bit. So 
hopefully, I wonder how soon after we build a house do we get another, once our approval rating is high. How do I have homelessness? I don't, that's previous. So how do I make happiness? Probably a church or the tavern, I'm assuming. I'm gonna... Ah, oh, I could have just relocated. I'm gonna demolish, yes, demolish it. And then, yeah, okay, so then I have exposed goods, so maybe people move it, hopefully? I don't know. Four times in movement speed, which is fine. This one's almost done. Got a new burgage. Exposed goods, exposed goods. Now it's August. So I don't think residents will move in. Unless this gets over 50. And I'm assuming I probably need the tavern for that to happen, if I had to guess. Keep fast forwarding. Burgage level one. Seven and five. But people are like continuously like buying. That's supplied. They have enough food supply. They don't. I'm sure that'll change, hopefully, over time here. Stolen by near by bandits. What the hell? So they just steal it automatically. Is that is that the case? I'm kind of gathering that's the case. That's kind of frustrating. Or they're attacking me and I'm just not seeing it. Which also is equally annoying. We're nearly a halfway, well, it looks, looks like we're halfway through, even though it's definitely not halfway. Hopefully we all have enough storage. In 13 months, we have a full year of food at this point. I wonder if I reassign families, if that messes up our... Does that mess up our uh, our marketplace? I'm really hoping that this will increase our approval. I feel like it will. I'm sure if I actually looked at the uh Fills one level of entertainment requirement for the bird slots. Like many of your citizens, it needs ale to function. So then I would need a trade.
In my mind, I would need a trade post then. So we got a tavern. Just going to assign a family. Something tells me it's not going to work without alcohol. Probably actually need a church. Mining, gathering. Where is the trading? Enables trading with visiting, traveling merchants, trade points. We have a market there. We have our tavern there. What our trade post right here? don't have any families to run that. I don't think if I have a family here, they will do anything. I'm going to unsupply and just get that family back on, uh, on building the trade post. Oh, this is a lot. There's a lot to think about here. Um... Hunting. Woodcutters. They're waiting. We're just waiting. So if I reassign them... Unassign. Have them... Construct. Why were they waiting? Like, they don't just automatically put stuff. Come on, lad. In the storehouse? That's so weird. You would think they would put it in the storehouse. And then the fuel. Generic storage. Log storage. So do I need like a separate storehouse, pack house, granary, kitchen post. Generic storage. There's a separate weird. Yeah, well, we need planks. This is heavier than it looks. Just give me a hammer and something needs to not move. I'll Wait a minute. How do you make planks? Iron ore and iron slabs, tools, clay, malt, leather, yarn. Just give me a hammer and something needs to not move. How do I make planks? Woodcutters camp. Mining. Sorry, so stonecutters camp. Mining. Plank something different? Saw pit. Okay, so it is something different. That's weird. I find that to be weird. 
would kind of think that like you'd have the woodcutters and then from the wood you could give that to these guys you could give that to these guys and then they could do his stuff with it you wouldn't think that like each individual one would have to go out and cut wood themselves at least that's not how i would have thought Well, let me just make all of our wood area here. So I unassign these people. We have two construction families. We got our trading post so that we can buy alcohol, I guess. This needs a pantry, which doesn't really have anything else that says. No, converts timber into planks. Okay, no, that makes sense. You see, that's kind of... Okay, okay, no, no, that does make sense. That's fine. Perfect. This one could have been somewhere else. This one being here makes more sense. We have a 48 approval. Market food variety. Sweet. So I'm wondering if the previous homelessness will go away eventually here, or is that just permanent? That's pretty lame if that's permanent. Just because they were previously homeless. So obviously the further you are away from the market, the less food stall supply you have, I guess, is kind of the way it goes. A bandit camp was sighted. Ah, oh, fuck. Where? Right there. Does that mean more of our stuff's gonna be stolen? That's a lot more than ten. Like, I wouldn't be able to go and attack them. And they're right next to us. Great. I really could use some more, uh, people, it seems. So the pantry's getting a little fuller. I was gonna take away some of our... gatherers here, but... I kind of think that might not be the best thing to do. We have a lot of stuff in our storage. We have five months of fuel, 14 months of food. So in reality, we minus six from that, or I guess you just minus three from that. And that's still 11 months of food, so we're good. For food throughout the winter. Not so much firewood. We need a lot more fuel, it seems. So I'm actually going to seemingly assign a family to here and see if they move some things around. I just don't understand. So no one's just going to move material around if they're not assigned to it, I guess. Gets ready. Yeah, I would have thought that unassigned people would probably move material, but I guess not. 
So I'll just assign people to this until some of our supplies kind of get out of the rain. I'd like to see these two things disappear. I don't necessarily know how to... Can I get someone to, like, automatically do it? Don't forget to brace the frame of the door. You don't want it to sag. Warehouse work. Gathering and transporting. Okay. Okay. I'll just do that until that disappears, and then I might reassign them to something else. up a bit. It's sunny out now. The construction of the trading post is done. Construction, no trade, stone. Blocked because the trade rule is set to no trade. What does that mean? Trade rule is set to no trade? What does that mean? just because there's no family aside? <laughs> odd. This is odd. So I need an unassigned family at all times, it seems. I can't get rid of my woodcutters. They just need to keep going and going and going. Okay, I finally have like eight months of fuel, which is nice. 
Firewood has been like moved, which is also nice. So where did firewood go? Did it go to the stock? Yeah. Generic storage is full. Log storage. What is this? Reserve will never be used for crafting so that enough saw resources are left for construction. Oh, 10, I guess? I don't know. to fall okay this is where shit gets real i think we have 15 months of food nine months of of fuel we're good on food definitely want to keep guys on that still i want to assign a family to this So our approval is going up. Market food variety plus two now. Why Why did that go up? Maybe it just means we have more. Okay. I just need one more approval. And we're good, right? I wonder what I need to do that. Okay, so that was fairly quick. Five planks now. All my families are assigned. People are transporting, constantly transporting, which is good. I need minimum one, two, three, four. I need, like, four more families to, like, maintain what I even have right now, let alone, like, continuing to grow. The only other thing that I don't necessarily know is if, like... <clears throat> unassigning and reassigning families. If that's something I need to be doing... Consistently? Oh! Market food variety, market food variety... Previous. There we go. Okay. There we go. So now we can have more families move in. But then that's going to also eat to at our supply. So it's like a catch-22. You have more faint people moving in. But I have a lot of supply. We're in October now. So at times four, you move through the month a lot quicker. A lot quicker. Oh, resources stolen by the nearby bandits. Man, this is getting annoying. Like, I don't know. Didn't explain that very well. Military. Charge, shield, impaling, grabbing, black sand, effectiveness. What about, like, getting attacked by bandits? Not buildings, resources... Didn't, doesn't really say anything about bandits. Shield, assign, helmet, body armor, pack. Modified by effectiveness, backstabbing, and body armor blocking the enemy. 
Yeah, nothing about bandits or anything. So that just happens automatically without <clears throat> without any kind of recourse. I'd assume the only way to prevent that is to go and attack them, I guess. But they have like what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like eight nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Probably have like 15 people right here. Well, I'm gonna slow time down a little bit. I'm gonna reassign, unassign the family from here and reassign them at the granary. Oh, yeah. Get to walk around. That's hilarious. Okay, what do we got here? So we have construction, we have 20 timber, 10 planks, 10 stones, so we can make a church, I think. I think that'll help a lot with our happiness. Fulfills one level of faith requirements for the burgage. Oh no, we need 20 planks. Log storage one. How do I increase that? Because the ox has to get used every time. Like, it would be cool if I could store some logs here. That's brutal. So you want this as close to that as possible. Okay. Put chickens on these guys. Let's see what that does. So it's under construction. No one working on it. Where the hell are the freaking food people? What are they working on? Transporting. Yeah, okay. So they should be transporting that stuff. Which they are. Okay, good. 
There we go. We'll need to dig the foundations deeper for this one. I don't want to wait for this guy. Get to the entry. Destruction finished. Burgage plot. Oh. So that just kind of happened. Twenty-five. I don't know what that means. Is that just twenty-five eggs? But then I'm assuming that means I can't expand. Winter is approaching. Resources stolen by bandits. Winter is approaching. Unassign here. Reassign here. I really need more families. Import price 11. So what is that? Is that what this is? Regional wealth? Is that just money? Is that what that is? Can't really tell. That costs six. Import price 11. I only have 25 left. You'll not find finer wares anywhere else. There's nothing to export. Oh, I guess. Kind of confused. So, new family started to move in. Fuck yeah. Woo! New family. Okay, here we go. We're growing. It's November. Not yet winter time. Yeah, everyone has good food stall supply, fuel supply, no clothing. I just don't know how much room is actually needed for this stuff. Like, having the chickens in a coop there is fine. Like, that makes sense for it not to need, like, a huge area. But then, like, sheep need a large area. You would think. Vegetables would need a large area, we would think. So, I have an unassigned family. I'm not building anything right now. If I go assign family to the tavern. Thing 
that I would need to trade would be commodities, ale, route required. That costs 48 money. And I'm assuming that's this money, the regional wealth. Could be wrong. Not entirely sure. Now that I have a family assigned to the tavern, transporting, fetching water, waiting. Pantry, nothing, nothing stored inside. I'm a little worried that it's kind of useless until I have ale available. What are these people doing right now? He's using the ox. These people are waiting. Something tells me they can't do anything until they have come on, come on. ale. So, if that's the case, I'm gonna unassign them from the tavern. I guess. Okay. We have that. And we'll go just one family there. We are in November. What do I got for supplies at this point? Now I have 20 planks. 18 timber, 18 or 10 stone. If I go church. 5. 20 and 10. Put in the church there. A nice market place, tavern, trading post. Walk up, you hit residential, and then you kind of bump in. Get some storage here. We'll bump some industrial stuff here. I don't think this is too bad. We can probably unassign the granary people. Generic storage full. Is it just saying this log storage? Is that always going to pop up because the log storage? I think that's what that is. That's kind of stupid. It's kind of stupid. Market food variety plus three now. Awesome. Which is probably just means because we're actually stocked up. So food variety, meat, and berries. Church is starting to get built. We have two more residential spots for any new residents. The only thing now that I'm kind of worried about is money. I need to make some money now. So once we build the church. Hopefully by the time we're done the church, we get another family moved in. How are we doing? 
We only have 17 seasonal berry deposits left. Like, I wonder... Does that recharge? 38 of 40. Now, does that recharge all of a sudden? Does that slowly recharge? I don't know. That has me worried now. I do have a lot of animals that we hunt, so if I really needed to, I could swap over the berry guys over to the hunting animals until this kind of gets back up, because we're staying fairly ahead of the animals. Church is coming along. Might have to reassign someone onto this. Maybe the plank making uh, family. Probably pretty close to uh, December. Perfect. We have like a year's worth of supply now. Awesome. Some razors just disappear when it's getting cold and reappear again in the spring. New family started to move in. Hell the hell yeah. So this is shrinking. Might wanna... Like, I don't know what happens. Do I need to reassign this family? Do I just keep them on that? We will put another family on here. We have a lot of firewood. We'll probably unassign Whoever's doing, uh... <clears throat> the only problem is the woodcutters sell firewood. So if I reassign these people, do they probably stop selling firewood? Kind of. Okay, so winter time starting. Awesome. Okay. I think that's where we're going to end it right now. Um, I think we made a decent amount of understanding of the game. I still need to figure a bunch of things out, but uh, damn, bandits. Stole furs. Man. I need to figure this bandit thing out. Anyways. Until next time. On Wrench Feels Like Playing. Peace.